Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Today we are back in San Denis, the most mysterious city in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. And also the biggest. Now we're going to look at this house. It appears that there might be something secret to it. But I think that this secret is only in Red Dead Online. Now there's a lot of Easter eggs and secrets in the game. But for some reason, most of them are just in single player. Well, this one seems to be different. Before I get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to all the subscribers. I also want to thank everybody in the Trippy Club. We're going to have a Trippy Club exclusive stream tomorrow. So if you want to join up, it's right next to the subscribe button. It'll say join. There's a lot of exclusive perks. So if you come over close to this window, what you can hear, at least in online mode, is very creepy opera music. But I've been investigating it, and I cannot get it to play in single player. So I'm going to show you that in a moment. We'll switch it over to online mode. I also want to give a shout out to Meta Gibby. He's the one who discovered this. And I don't know if this was here in day one. So this might be something that Rockstar had added. Perhaps a clue, maybe a hint, of something to come. But as you can see, at least here in single player, there doesn't seem to be anything special going on at all. There's a house, a checkerboard table here. And if anybody spots you, they'll actually send the cops after you, as apparently it is trespassing to investigate this one house. Sorry, lady. I've heard of opera music. Have you heard it for yourself? Well, it is not playing. We'll also switch it over to John Marston. But first, I'm going to meet you guys in online mode. Thanks again, guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And let's get into a trippy investigation. Here we are. By the way, you can find the house directly across the street from the cemetery. I did look at this for a little bit before starting the recording, and the music would not start up. So now it's making me think that the opera will only play at a certain time. But you can hear it right now. I believe it's like evening. I'm going to turn up the audio quite a bit just to make sure you guys can hear it on your end. You hear that? We'll go around to another window, see if maybe it plays louder or softer at different parts of the house. So I'm going to quickly tell you what Medic Gibby found out about it. He said it's Carmen Act 1, Lemur Est Un Ezu Rebel, uh, Carmen 1. I probably butchered that, but it is a, uh, I guess, an opera written by Georges Bitson way back in 1875. Let's listen to it some more. Gotta say, that is awesome. I wonder if Rockstar is playing this opera music at this one house for a certain reason. Now, we've investigated the entire city, but I've never found opera music like this anywhere else. And it seems to be only in this one location, potentially only at night. I'm gonna look into it further. We're also gonna be looking into it during a live stream. Make sure to hit the notification bell. You can join us on both PS4 and Xbox One Red Dead Online. Oh, help me. You can come back. We're just enjoying the opera music. We're back at the other side of the house. I'm going to switch it over to John. Maybe we can hear it as him. But it almost seems like a house that we should have been able to go into. You know, there should have been more interiors in San Denis, maybe even ownable houses. Perhaps this is a house that we can own in the future here in Red Dead Online. Looks like there's another door right here. Open up. We want to be part of the opera party. No? It looks like the music may have stopped as well. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, I'm not hearing it. Wait, there it goes again. It's on the back side. Got some classy fellows around here. There it is, man. It's as bright as day. I consider this the opera house of San Denis. Here in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. But let's switch it back one more time. 
into single player. Let's go as John Morrison and see if we can confirm that the music plays here in single player as well. If it only plays, you know, in Red Dead Online, it could be a hint that maybe we can own this house in the future, or at least just for the first time, a secret that is exclusive only to Red Dead Online. We have returned as John. It's pretty much the same exact time. So the moment of truth, let's see if we can hear that opera music. There it goes. So it is in both single player and in online. Like I was telling y'all, I was investigating for quite a while, so I was thinking it might only be in Red Dead Online, but now for sure, it is definitely in single player. So it seems to be specific to this one house. I'll go ahead and turn it back up for you guys. And I also think it might be just the one song. I'm not too sure. If any of you guys are opera experts, definitely let me know. must be Dutch's secret summer house or something like that. Listening to opera music. I'm trying to go over there and we're going the wrong way. Here we go. I'll be quiet again. As the rain starts up, of course. Every time I try to listen in closely, that's when the thunderstorm happens. It never fails. So you got the opera house right here. In San Denis, we got some more videos on the way. Huge shout out again to Medic Gibby. Uh, maybe there's a reason, but it seems like, you know, this is just going to be that one little detail of San Denis. Just some random opera music playing across from the creepy cemetery. Now, when we shared this on Twitter, a lot of people, you know, did respond by saying that the San Denis opera music is pretty creepy. So the fact that it's next to the cemetery, you never know. Maybe there's something bigger going on here. So if you all enjoyed the episode, stay tuned. Live stream coming up later on tonight. This was a bit of an investigation, but we have some huge videos coming up soon here at Trippy Commentaries. Hit the like button, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?